This video is for a double gate operator. We will be showing you how to wire in from your old D1 control board into the new EGA control board. Install your new circuit board into the main control box using the three screw holes as shown. The green connector blocks on the new control board can be removed for easier access when wiring in your accessories. Wiring in your visitor push buttons. Wire your push button into COM and two side of the terminal block as shown. Wiring your keypads or long range receiver. The red cable for power wires to 12V plus. The black cable for power wires to COM. The green cable from your NO keypad or long range receiver will wire to two side terminal block. White cable from COM keypad or long range receiver will wire to COM terminal block. Remote receiver cables may vary in colour over time. The first receiver here will have your two yellow cables wire into COM and the brown and orange cables wire into two side. Power cables are as shown in the photo. Our second receiver over time will have your white cable wire into COM and the yellow and grey cable wire in to two side. Power cables are as shown. Wiring in the actuator arms to motor 2 and motor 1 on the control board. The arm closest to the control box should wire into motor 2 and the slave arm will wire into motor 1. It is important to note, if your arms are pulling your gates into the property to open, then wire up as shown. Blue cable on the left, red cable on the right. If your arms are pushing your gates out towards the road, then wire up as shown. Red cable on the left, blue cable on the right. Wiring in your transformer. Again, you can remove the brown connector block for easier access. Remember that your transformer is not polarity sensitive, so you don't need to worry about which cable wires into which terminal. Wire your transformer in as shown. If you have a backup battery in your electric kit, we advise connecting once you have done the auto travel learn shown later in this video. If you have solar, then connect both the solar regulator and battery up as shown. Do you have an electric gate lock? Wire it into the lock terminals on the control board as shown. You will then need to make sure that your control board is set for the lock function by entering into the menu settings. Hold the fun button down until PO comes on. Hit the INC button and go up to PA. Hit the fun button to go into the setting. Hit INC to go up to setting three. Hit the fun button to save and the learn button to get out. If you have I-beams or safety beams installed, from your beam terminal out or NC will wire into IR on the main control board, beam terminals COM and GND or negative will wire into COM on the main control board, then your positive or 12V from the beam terminals will wire into 12V positive on the main control board. You will then need to make sure that your control board is set for the safety beam function by entering into the menu settings. Hold the fun button down until PO comes on. Then hit INC and go up to PD. Hit the fun button to go into PD. Hit the INC to go to 01, the fun button to save, the learn button to exit. Now that you have all your wiring set up, we will now perform the auto travel function. Ensure the gateway entrance is clear of any obstructions. 
The travel function learns the operating time for the open and close limits. How to perform the travel function for your EGA control board. Once you have the arm installed and all of your wiring is completed, it will be time to perform the travel function so the EGA control board can learn the open and close limits. Power up your control board. If you have solar, you will need to plug your battery on. If you have electric with a low voltage transformer, you will need to plug the transformer in only. In this video, we will demonstrate the travel function on transformer. Firstly, we need to activate the control board so the board knows the gate is in the open position. Please note, you can have the gate in either the full open or full closed position to start with. Now use a triggering device to activate your gate. Here we will use a remote to activate the control board. You will notice OP will be shown on the menu screen, followed by SP once the gate has reached the full open position. Now the control board knows the gate is open and is ready to perform the travel function. On the board, you will notice the DEC and INC buttons. You will need to press both the DEC and INC buttons at the same time for five seconds or until the gate starts to close. Once the gate starts to move, you can release the DEC and INC buttons. The gate will now close at normal speed. Hit your close stop, then the gate will open back to the full open position. The travel function is now completed.